Hello and welcome to episode 18 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Last episode was a tricky one. I mean, it was two tricky games, there's no doubt about it. It was first place and third place. Uh, the 4-4 draw to West Brom away from home was particularly disappointing as we had taken a two-goal lead. But then the Swansea City loss, yeah, I mean, they dominated us. We deserved to lose that one. We're still trying to deal with the new AI, trying to work out how that's going to affect things. Uh, Maxi Romero, though, as you can see, 28 goals. The goal king, El Matador. Uh, in that quote there, he says, I never get sick of scoring goals. I mean, who would ever suggest that? How could a striker ever get sick of it? Just got a bit bored of it. Not likely. Anyway, two games today. We've got Bristol City and then Sheffield Wednesday. Both of them at Ellen Road. We need wins. We need to get back into winning ways. Let's take a look at the side. Okay, so luckily we're starting to recover from some of the ridiculous fatigue that we suffered. We're up to 85 team spirit now. We should be winning. Um, with Janssen on a downward arrow, I think we're going to bring in uh, Martinez there. Bernardo in the centre. That should work just fine. Um, Brunetta in for big PT Pablo. And then in the left wing back role, Pablo can play there. Probably not going to work very well as a left back. To bring in Matt, that does take us down to 80 team spirit, but we needed to make those changes. Big Jack on a blue. We need to see a big performance from him. We keep saying that, but we really, really do. Mason Mount's still 10 weeks, 10 long weeks away. A quick look at Bristol City. It's a decent side set up in a traditional 4-4-2. Could be difficult to break down, but we are the home side. We've got to go out there, play our game, impose ourselves on this match and uh, come away with the three points. Nothing else will do. Oh, look, the snow is falling here. You can tell we're getting into the latter part of the season. And uh, in real life, Leeds United are doing pretty well. They're still in second place. They've had a little bit of a rocky patch of form. Ultimately, still well in the playoff race, potentially looking at automatic promotion. For us, though, in this reality, well, that seems quite far away now. We started at a great pace. Is Bielsa's high-pressing, high-energy style starting to take its toll on this side? Well, if you saw the fatigue, the stamina of some of our players in the last episode, you'd say yes. Can we play our way out of it, though? Come on. Matt out to Nkudu. Early ball into Romero. A little back heel into Brunetta. Steps away well. Into Isla. Maro Isla. Oh, and that's lucky, but we'll take it. And it's the Isla Bonita. And Phantom Striker. We get the trophy for that. I don't know what that is. Well, Isla's good. Actually, he must have three or four this season already. And that was uh, straight from the kickoff, pretty much. Bristol City shocked. That's exactly what we needed. Brunetta, the architect there. Lovely step back inside. And Isla had made the run deep from midfield. Very simple stuff here as the snow falls on Ellen Road, but this little turn away from Brunetta was exactly what we needed, and he's got a great weight of pass. Don't know if that took a touch off the defender. The keeper was wrong-footed, and that is exactly the start we needed. That's a great ball. Absolutely into the foot-squared area. Oh, that is a horrible deflection. Horror deflection there for Bristol City. But we'll take it. Oh, Marlon Pack into Brunetta. That's poor. Now Harrison can bring it forward. Romero's made a good run. Harrison will step inside. It'll flip over the top into Brunetta. Lovely take from him. And that is a calm finish from the Argentinian. And we really needed him to start coming into form. Mason Mount still 10 weeks away. But Brunetta started this game brilliantly. A goal and an assist. Jack Harrison cutting inside. It's a hopeful ball in. The Bristol City defender misjudged it. Brunetta was able to take advantage of that. A calm side-footed finish. And this is the dream start for Leeds United. Jack Harrison, we've asked for more from him. He's on a blue arrow today. It's a lovely first touch. And opens up his body. Beats the keeper. And we're two up. Martinez with lots of space here through the centre. Don't want to give him that much space because he's not a bad passer, as we know. Brunetta away from his man. Out wide to Nkudu. It's up for an early pass in. Maxi Romero with the header. And that's wide, but we keep the pressure on here. Great tackle, Bernardo. Oh, what? How is that a foul? That's never a foul. Nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, it's outside the box, though, luckily. Free kick opportunity here. Bristol City haven't created much. It'll be a real kick in the teeth if they manage to score from this. Patterson floats it in. That's a lovely little flick on into Watkins. Ailing can deal with it nicely. Watkins shows good pace. Martinez is with him, and he's got away from him. That's poor. Martinez nearly makes up the ground. Eliasson, his shot is deflected wide. We really would like to get into the half without Bristol City getting a goal back. We've been really poor for holding on to Leeds. Patterson with the ball in. Bernardo will look to attack it. It's a good header away. Kelly, though, will bring it down. 
Fires it wide. Isla gets a touch. And then Kudu can bring it away. Can we hit him on the break here? That's a lovely ball into Harrison. He's got Romero ahead of him. And Kudu making a good run as well. Harrison slips it into Romero. Probably overplayed this. Definitely overplayed it now. Matt can flick a ball in. Harrison's there. Easy header away. Guido Pizarro will have a chance now to put a ball of his own into the box. That's a nice one to the far post. Harrison is there. Well headed away. And then Marlon Tupac Shakur. Well, he can't get it away. Can Ailing win this to keep the pressure on? Yes, he can. Ball down the line to Romero is not a good one. Wright will deal with it and Fielding will clear. Oh, we had a chance there. A couple of good chances. Oh, the high press is working. Harrison inside to Isla. Down the line to Romero. Lovely touch from him. Can he pull it back to Nkudu? Nkudu! Oh, and it's come off the back of the keeper. And Nkudu makes it three. And what a half this has been for Leeds United. A little bit of fortune for, I would say, all three of the goals. But we've massively needed it. This was great work. Lovely stuff. Romero all the way to the line. And Kudu shot. Well, I think it came back off the post and hit the keeper. Again, they all count. And that's three goals that we massively need. Oh, we've been caught out there. Ball through the centre into Patson. Bernardo. Oh, Bernardo. Yes. That's exactly what we needed. And that will be half time here. And, uh, well, three goals. Can't argue with that. Two in the first five minutes. Brunetta's was well taken. Two goals either side of it. Had a fair amount of luck. Although in Kudu's, I think... Probably due to go in, wasn't it, really? We've not been dominant. We've had a bit more possession. We've taken our chances when they've arisen. Bristol City have played their part. Hopefully now with three goals ahead at half-time, we can see this one out and get a valuable three points. Come on. Oh, Martinez. What a tackle. And now he looks to launch the break. The extra man. We know he can do it. He's calling in Kudu forward. Martinez, though, will continue through. Unmarked. Into Isla. Can he force a shot here? Oh, it's a great save. Martinez almost went all the way through on his own. It's going to be Brunetta over this one. We're going to try and float it in to the head of Big Matt. Doesn't get the flick on. Oh, Martinez. That's great hustle. Incredible hustle from him. Ball inside to Romero. Lays it into Harrison. Hits it on the run. It's a good effort. Really good effort and a good save as well. Martinez is having a great game. So only an hour gone, but our three-goal lead will give us a chance to uh, make a triple substitution. Give some uh, tired legs some rests. Just keep the uh, squad rotation moving. That's what we've lacked in the last few games. Bristol City putting together a late spell of possession here. Can we keep them out? A clean sheet would be lovely at this point. They do. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, Manoni must be annoyed. I don't think he's kept a clean sheet all season. I can't remember one. I mean, Bristol City here profiting from just Leeds being a little bit lazy. Ailing not getting across. Manoni didn't really make himself big. Surely too late for a comeback now. But let's not take any chances. Let's keep the ball. Cobos over this one. Goes short to Martinez. Harrison, a little flick away. And it's a good effort. And a good save as well. He's played well today. Deserved a goal. Five seconds left. This will be the last play of the game. Ball inside. Diedo's effort. Doesn't go in, and Kobos will clear, and Big Matt will put it into the lead sky. And as the snow falls here in Yorkshire, we get a very important win just to stem the flow of bleeding. Not looked great in the last few games, but we really needed that win today. Yes, against weaker opposition. No, we didn't dominate. The City actually made more passes, but we created chances, and ultimately, some of them with a bit of luck, we did take them. That's what was needed, and it's a man of the match performance for Brunetta. The young man coming in with a huge amount of pressure on his shoulders. He needed to come in as a reserve striker and a starting attacking midfielder. And to be fair, he's created and scored goals already, and that's all we can ask from him. So there we go. Much, much needed, and we'll stay in fifth. But that just fends off, uh, well, they were our probably biggest rivals for that sixth spot, Bristol City. So that had double importance, getting a win today. Uh, yeah, eight points of automatic promotion, though. That does look now to be a pipe dream. Three points off Derby County. We can uh, make our way into third place. Definitely need to win this next game in the episode as well. Let's keep the momentum going. And Brunetta up to 75. Well, he's deserved that. Great performances. We get a nice long break now until Sheffield Wednesday. We needed these uh, week-long breaks. And it's another Derby game. Of course it is. That could add an extra level of difficulty. The scout has got something for us. A variety of different centre-backs. 
I think some would argue that we probably still need another centre-back. Obviously, Callum Chambers would be a great shout. He could potentially do that wing-back role as well. I can't play as a central midfielder. That's the only reason we wouldn't have him do that. Uh, Congolo. I mean, there's some great options in here, isn't there? We'll have to come back to that. We've got a fair amount of transfer budget, as we know, after the Saez sale. A little bit low on uh, salary, but we can always make that up. A few defensive midfielders. Don't know if we need one now. And, uh, oh yeah, Trent always comes up. We scouted him early on. We've scouted him again by the looks of it. We could sign him now, and he would be absolutely the right player to take over from Isla. It'd be perfect there. Absolutely perfect. Let me know what you think in terms of realism. Obviously, he's starting for Liverpool in real life. It's not realistic, is it? Uh, let me know if we should change these scouting instructions. Are there any positions you think we desperately need? I think we probably need a striker now, don't we, really? We've got two defensive midfielders now with Martinez. We need a, a young English striker would be great, wouldn't it? So we'll change that. See if we can get anything there. Right, let's get into the second game of this episode and let's make it a double winner. So how's everyone looking? Brunetta on an upward arrow, as you'd expect, and uh, some flashing arrows as well. <sighs> Martinez on a downward arrow. I don't really want to bring an ailing, but on a flashing arrow, that's okay. Big Pontus on a downward arrow. I mean, we had to drop him in the last game. He was on a red form. But other than that, I think we can keep things as they are. Matt played okay, but Kobos comes back in. Can I expect big things again from Brunetta? Sheffield Wednesday, well, they're a better side than Bristol City. But they are right at the bottom of the league and they have lost an incredible amount of games this season. We are the form side, certainly in this matchup. But as we've seen this season, that means very little. So I'd love to hear your opinions on the new patch in the comments. Look, I've been on holiday for the last week, as I've mentioned many, many times. Literally, these are the third and fourth games I've played in Master League with the new patch. Yep, that is as much football as I've played in the last week on Pez. And, uh, well, from the strength of those three games, it really did feel like the good teams were good. You know, West Brom were okay. Swansea were a very good side. They're top of the league. And Bristol City, you could see that they were a struggling side with not particularly good players. If that's an improvement, you know, that the good sides really feel that much better. And that's certainly, uh, certainly good. Obviously, we've seen that the range of shots and chances taken by the AI is uh, much wider than it was before. I'd love to hear any opinions that you've got on some of the other changes that have been made. But it feels good. I mean, for me, it felt pretty good before. I've been enjoying this series. Hope you have too. Um, but, you know, if things are playing better, then it's only going to make the experience more enjoyable. Right. Two wins in a row in a derby. Let's do it. Oh, Ramirez won that bat really well. And now Guido Pizarro. Push it wide to Nkudu. Kobos wants it down the line. That's a good run from the Argentinian. Cuts back. Nkudu flights onto the far post. Brunetta's there. I think the defender got the final touch on that. But Brunetta was lurking. And he will whip in the first quarter of the game here for Leeds United. It's Brunetta scoring the last. And that's a great corner. Romero's there. Just couldn't finish it. Nkudu out of his feet. Gets the shot off. Kobos will have a go now. And he's cut across that one. And it's well wide. But again, a strong, quick start here from Leeds United. And that's a great corner. Romero just couldn't finish it. Slow start to this one then, considering it is a derby. 24 minutes in, no real chances. And it's a free kick opportunity here for Sheffield Wednesday. And it's a very well taken one. It could fall anywhere. Pizarro gets a wild clearance away. And Romero, that's a great ball out into Nkudu. Flips it into the path of Brunetta. Strong from him away from Hooper. Looking for the overlapping run here. It doesn't use it. Oh, he does eventually. That's gorgeous. Now Nkudu, can he get a ball in? Harrison's there with the header. Oh, he's oh, oh, oh. oh, still got it. Oh, he hasn't got it. That was close. Very close. Ailing decides to keep it in. Isla into Romero. What a ball that is. Romero with the effort and it's gone through the keeper's hands. And, well, with the uh, good fortune continues, you could say. Maxi Romero, you've got to hit him. You know, you've got to hit him. You've got to be there. You've got to take the chance. And uh, that was certainly the right time to take the chance. Just get off a shot. A powerful shot. Isla here. Great vision. Lovely first touch. How many times have we seen that this season? Just one touch out of his feet. Knows where the goal is. It's a load of power behind it. And the keeper will be disappointed with that. Let's see it again from that angle. Can't be sure whether the keeper should have done more here. Yes, he should. Yep, that should have been easily tipped over the bar. But as we've said so many times in this episode, we will take it. And uh, that's great work. Oh, Isla caught flat-footed. Reach gets in behind him. Isla does well to get Ailing. Great tackle. Not cleared. Reach a dangerous ball in. Bernardo heads away only as far as George Boyd. And that is some hit. It's just wide. <sighs> Almost got straight back into it there, our position. Luckily, couldn't get that on target because that was some hit. Facundo Cobos now. 
Give it a bit of space to run forward. Ball inside to Brunetta. So much quality has come from him. Good ball into Romero. Powers through. Will he get the shot off here? He does, but it's blocked. Just unmarkable at times. Just a little ball of power and muscle and energy. Very nearly scored our second there. Oh, lovely reverse ball into Matthias. Cuts back, but Bernardo knew exactly what he was going to do there. Romero lays it onto Kobar. Space ahead of Nkudu here. That's a nice ball. He'll beat Hutchinson to this one. Cuts back. Ball in. Looking for Romero. Doesn't make its way over the defender. Brunetta now. Nkudu back into him. To the line. Digs out across. Kobos is there with the glancing header. Into the gloves of Wildsmith. We could do with a second goal. We're not going to get it in this half. But it's been a good showing. In general. A decent half. We haven't allowed Sheffield Wednesday a single shot on target. And we've had a little bit more possession than the last game. Let's make this one safe in the second half. Come on. Nice work, Kobos. Him and Bernardo win it back well. Romero back to Kobos. Inside to Brunetta. Outside to Nkudu. This is nice. Keep it moving here. Kobos sees the run of Isla. What a ball that is and what an effort that is from Isla. He's really looking to add goals to his game in this latter part of the season. Brunetta, though. Can he finish here? Oh, it's another great save. Harrison can keep it alive. Back to Isla. His shot is blocked. And Nkudu can't get the ball back across the box. We will have a corner here. We should have had our second goal there. Three great opportunities. Brunetta saved. Harrison just about picks out Isla. Probably wasn't the right ball. And that shot is deflected. Come on, we can get it. Oh, what? how is that not a corner? Hutchinson down the line into Matthias. Kobos gets the block. Right, corner here for Sheffield Wednesday. What we don't want to do is let him get back into this. That's a great ball in. Pizarro will jump with Boyd. And oh my god, Manoni, what are you doing? So very nearly messed that up. Oh, and that's great work from Romero. Can't quite win it back, though. The danger is not gone. Reach takes it down. Harrison, great work. Great work there from Jack. Luke Ayling. Allowed to bring it forward here. Good ball into Brunetta. Just a slip in Romero. Yes, there it is. Could that be the telling contribution in this game? Maxi Romero once again linking up with Brunetta. And uh, this was far too easy. Luke Ayling just allowed to dribble it through. Nice ball into Brunetta. Lovely first touch. And that is a deft pass. Romero had plenty of time just to slot it home with his right foot. And that should be us winning here. Two wins on the bounce, hopefully, against our local rival. Things are going to be looking a lot more rosy if we can finish this off. Emphasis on can. Let's not count our chickens. Come on. So another triple sub here. And it's Martinez. Big Matt. And uh, PT Pablo will get a run out in the last 10 minutes. To see this one home. No heroics needed. Just make it safe. Free kick here. Surely too far out. For Sheffield Wednesday to have a go on goal. He's going to go for it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Why can't we keep a clean sheet? And that is some free kick. Peter Maloney, I'm not sure what he was expecting there. He didn't look to be bothered about it. Right, let's keep the ball. So here we are after about three minutes of keeping the ball along the back line. Uh, we have seen this one out. Unfortunately, again, we can't get the clean sheet. It's a brace from Maxi Romero. Two well-taken goals that see us, well, with six points in a row. It's exactly what we needed after a faltering start. It's exactly what we needed after faltering in the last few games. And it's a pretty comprehensive win today. Especially pleasing against the local rival. It's Maxi Romero with a man of the match. Again, Brunetta providing assists. Looking excellent. Driving things forward in the middle of the park. I don't know what happened when Mason Mount comes back. Where does Brunetta slot in? I think if anything, he's probably going to be pushing Harrison, perhaps. Or in Kudu, but he's not a natural in those positions. I don't know. It's not a bad problem to have when we do get to that point. Much needed. Look at that Swansea City losing. Let's see how things are shaping up. Well, we move up into fourth. West Brom slipping down to 6th. And now the gap is 5 points between us and Bristol City in 7th. That's looking a lot more comfortable. But we are still 8 points away from Stoke City. Don't seem to be showing any signs of slowing down. And let's uh, finish by looking at the monthly report. 3 wins, 1 draw, 1 loss. It's not bad. 7 goals for Maxi Romero. Brunetta with 4 assists and a 6.6 .6 average rating. He's been key. Absolutely key. And that relationship between him and Maxi Romero. Reportedly they are good friends. Obviously about the same age, both from Argentina. They're linking up beautifully. Where will Mason Mount slip in? That's the question. Uh, goals have been shared out very evenly throughout the game. Four in the first 15 minutes, but other than that, 
pretty even throughout the game. But glaringly there, we have conceded a lot of goals in the final quarter of the game. We just need to be more aware. I don't know what it is. And in terms of the types of goals we've been scoring, it's been through balls, but that's fine. That's exactly what we want for Romero. Uh, Maxi Romero with a 58% success rate. That is massive. Remember when he was at 8% in one month? He certainly turned that around. Bernardo's been a beast. Look at that. Very rarely have we seen Pontus Janssen on not on top of the aerial battles won or the tackles won. But Bernardo has certainly upped his game in the last few matches. And Team of the Month reflects that. There is Maxi Romero and Brunetta. I mean, if Mount was available, would you change that? Maybe would we consider playing Mount out on the wing? He would be a more natural player to play wide. Again, good problems to have. So next episode, we're away at Ipswich. Can we keep this winning run going? That would be huge. Join me for that on Friday. We've got two games in fairly quick succession. Ipswich are in 24th. They are having an awful season. And then we go up against the Bees in 16th. So those are two winnable games. And then if we, do we play Stoke again? We do play Stoke again. We play all the big names again. Plenty of games left. We could still get automatic promotion. Being a lot more positive than I was at the end of the last episode. I'll see you in a bit.